here! Hey guys, it's Mark Shea here. You are watching Exploring Music. This is another episode of Tips for a Better Performance. So let's check it out! Okay, so this one here is a bit more of a um, just off the cuff sort of thing, you know, talking to a few people and it's a subject that comes up a lot, um, especially here in Australia in the country music scene. Um, for example, you get a lot of people in the Australian country music scene that are like, oh, that person sounds too American and that all that sort of stuff and it's like they're worried about the accents and the, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, they sound like a Yankee and all that sort of stuff. You know, it's not a you know bad thing in sort of in that sense, um, but they're they're missing something that I think is really important. Now, this is about using your own voice. Now, this is where it's important to remember when you're learning, because I think most of the stuff, you know, I'm sure it happens other places where they they pick on the dialect of how people sing and things like that. You gotta use your own voice when you sing. You know, it's like, there's no point in trying to sound like someone else. Now, for the majority of people, it's like, how you talk is how you sing, pretty much. Now, you can come up with a weird, interesting voice, and many artists have done it and done it successfully. You know, um, the first one that comes to mind is Alanis Morissette. You listen to the, the way she pronounces words and tones and all that sort of stuff. You go back to Jagged Little Pill, it was just an unusual sounding voice. And, you know, that's not how she sounds when she talks. <laughs> so, you can create a specialized voice, and like I said, many artists have done that over the years. But, for the most part, be yourself. If you want to create a, a, a unique sound, that's great. That go for it, do it. But don't copy what other people have done, because that's another thing that in this whole argument is. I know it's coming out like kind of a ramble because I haven't really prepared for it. I just it was just something I wanted to get out there. Um, I think the biggest problem that people don't realize when they're complaining about this sort of stuff is it's not deliberate to the most part. Now, when you're learning, what is one of the things you tend to do? You imitate, you mimic. So you got all these young artists coming up and they're mimicking. This is how they're learning, you know, they're, they're mimicking their favorite artists. And so they're trying to sing the song the exact same way the artist does. So you got all these carbon copies of, you know, all these artists and there's nothing original about the young artists coming up because all they do is mimic and then when they try and sing something original they've learned how to sing in a certain way and they carry that mimicked voice over it's not really their own and they start singing original songs in that voice and it's like well it's not an original sound it just sounds like the artist you mimicked is singing your song, you know, and some people have done it to success as well. I got to, I got to give it that. But like for the example I gave with the Australian country music industry, you know, a lot of young artists coming up, they're listening to the national sound, they're listening to the Americans, and I hope this camera's not wobbling too much. I can see the strap sort of moving. <laughs> no, I'm just trying the new setup. But anyway, back to it. Um, you know, they're learning and they're listening to their favorite artists from America. And so they're pronouncing words a certain way. And one of the things that um, I, I always had a giggle at was I was at the Tamil Country Music Festival and I was just jamming away I'm on my own in the campgrounds there one day, many years ago. And this woman came up to me and said, oh, you know, I love your voice, but you got to get rid of that American accent. I said, but I'm American. And she's like, oh, well, that's okay then. Well, why? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like I do have a certain way of speaking where sometimes the American accent comes out. And, um, but that's naturally 
convert it into my singing as well. So I'm not putting it on if I have an American twang in my songs. It's just how the song came through. Um, but it's not just Australians imitating Americans. You got Australians imitating Australians. You know, it's like, I'm from the belief that use your own voice, right? Now, there are, just like in America and other countries, Australia has a number of different accents, you could say. And there's a number of artists, and a couple of them are pretty big artists, where they put on the real Oka Aussie accent. You know, um, I can't do it, so I'm not going to try. You know, I, I just sound too try hard. But, you know, a couple bigger artists actually, they don't talk like that. But they, when they're singing, they're putting on the accent. And I've got just as much problem as them putting on a fake Australian accent than putting on a fake American accent or a fake Chinese accent or whatever. You know, it's like I just find the authenticity of it. It just goes, you know. Be authentic. Be you. Because um, a lot of the songs would sound great just in their normal voice. Okay, we're going to take a short stop here just to say, check out the link below for Conceptual Creative. You know, they go, these guys help me out so much. If you want to see what they do for me, jump on over to markshamusic.com.au and you can see them at conceptualcreative.com.au and yeah. Give these guys some love because they help me do what I'm doing. Anyway, back to it. I want to point out so that when people complain about it, they can stop and think, okay, well, is this person putting on a fake accent or are they just going by how they've learned and they're just mimicking their, their favorite artists and they don't know any different? You know, and there's nothing wrong, you know, I guess there's nothing wrong with copying but to bag them out as though they're trying to copy, you know, as like, oh, you're a tryhard trying to be a Nashville sound. Well, that's just how the person learned to sing. So I think the real essence is, let's get it out there that you should be singing in your own voice. And if you want a specialized voice, like Alanis Morissette or a Lord, um, you know, there's so many great singers that have this unique voice, you know, like, how many people could really pull off a Robert Plant? You know, that, that voice is pretty distinctive. And Michael Jackson, you know? So it's like, you can try and mimic them and you'll just be a bad copy of it. So this is where, you know, we gotta get through, learn to sing your own voice, learn the song, but try and make it your own. And that's what I think is more important. So I want you to use your own voice. How you talk should be how you sing unless, of course, you want to do a specialized voice. But yeah, you don't have to roll your R's and all that sort of stuff to make it sound country, you know? That's pretty bad, but you get my point. Um, it's just like, be yourself. How you would say it is how you would sing it. And if you want to come up with a, a unique voice on your own, awesome, do it. But make sure it's original. You know, be a whiny, you know, nasally and all that sort of stuff if, if, if you think it makes the song sound better. But yeah, we got to stop hassling people that have just learnt the wrong way and we also got to try and get out there that there's nothing wrong with being who you are. Sing with your voice. And that's what's important. But yeah, like I said, this is just a little bit of a ramble. I just wanted to get it out there. You know, if you like this video, hit like. I've got heaps of videos coming up. So make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. But yeah, hit like, subscribe. Again, the notification bell. And you can check out all the previous videos if you want. But yeah, so anyway, that's all I had to say on the subject at the moment. Um, I'd be interested in your thoughts. What should you do when you're singing? Should you mimic? Should you come up with a specialized voice? Or should you just be yourself? Because, 
Yeah, let me know in the comments. I'm interested to know. Anyway, I'm Mark Shea. This is Exploring Music. Until next time, see ya!